We're here at the Royal Institution. Uh, I'm Dave Porter and uh, Mike Cutts will be with me later. And we're celebrating one million YouTube subscribers. We want to set light to a lovely cake to celebrate all your wonderful subscriptions. To do that and make it burn really nice, we're going to need some liquid oxygen. We don't store liquid oxygen here at the Royal Institution, so we're going to need to make it. What we do have is some liquid nitrogen, and I've got that in this large dewer here. I'm just going to decant some into this smaller dewer, and then I'm actually going to pour some of that into this even smaller dewer. So, liquid nitrogen boils at minus 196 centigrade. Okay, and you can see it's boiling at the top of the flask there due to the heat of the dewer. Now the dewer is a double walled vessel with a vacuum in between the two walls and that means that it can keep this liquid nitrogen nice and cold. Why do we need liquid nitrogen at minus 196? Well because oxygen boils at minus 182. So if we pass oxygen from this oxygen cylinder through, through this copper coil, what we can do is cool it down in the liquid nitrogen. And that should cool it down. And you can see the oxygen is blowing the vapour away. But we haven't got any liquid oxygen yet because we need to cool that oxygen down. So I'm going to submerse it in the liquid nitrogen. And you can see the heat of the copper coil and even the heat of the oxygen gas is enough to boil that liquid nitrogen a bit more. And I can rest that in there now. We still haven't got anything coming out at the moment, but we will see in just a second, we get a few drips coming out of here. Oh, here we go. So we've got a little bit of a liquid oxygen coming out of there and we can collect that. Hopefully, as we get enough of it, you can see the very lovely pale blue color of that liquid oxygen. It's one of the most beautiful things in nature. Now we're going to need a little bit more than this to set light to our celebration cake. Um, this is a nice clear glass that we can actually see the oxygen in, but it's not as efficient as a dewer or a thermos. So I'm actually going to replace that clear one with this thermos and we're going to fill this thermos up and ready for the next part of our celebration. So we've got mainly magnesium powder and we're going to add in two metal salts, just a little bit of barium chloride and strontium nitrate. And then we're going to need to get that all nicely mixed up. So we've got a nice fine powder feeding into our roaring fire. So we get mainly white sparks, but a few little coloured ones as well, hopefully. So we were going to try and count out a million pieces of this uh, metal dust to represent our million subscribers, but then we realised that was just going to be impossible. So what we've done instead is we have just put quite a lot of it together. We've guessed this is about a million. That's about, about right. A million. I it's think about, about a million, million particles there. <laughs> so give or take a million. Yeah. So we're, we're <laughs> running with uh, quite a big window of error, but you will definitely see sparks as it rains down on our wonderful celebratory cake. It should look rather spectacular. So, shall we try? I think we should. Let's get the flame. <laughs> I've, I've got my magnesium powder and metal salts to scatter down, to rain down. Rain, rain down indeed. And what I've got here is the liquid oxygen that Dave made earlier on. And as I add this uh, to our cake, when we set fire to it, the liquid oxygen will evaporate and it will feed that fire much more than the oxygen in our immediate atmosphere. So it's going to make it really, really burn brightly. So I'm going to take the liquid oxygen and pour it now into our cake and hopefully that's soaking up. I'm going to pour the whole lot in. Okay, so next thing we do is set fire to it. And here come the sprinkles.
So there you go, our one million celebration cake burning in liquid oxygen. Thank you so much for watching and watching the YouTube channel over the last 12 years. Yep, so a really big thank you uh, for helping us reach this massive milestone, one million subscribers to our YouTube channel. So all that remains, I think, is to test out and see whether this cake tastes as good as it looks. Maybe not this one. <laughs>